Good morning, everyone. Starting the vlog. <laughs> she said it's not morning, it's 5 o'clock. It's actually probably like 5.30. Oh, here's my phone. That's 5.33. We're just sitting outside. It's really nice out here. I'm in the sun. Sun in my eyes. There we go. I'm out to the sun. But I was able, I think I mentioned yesterday. I hope you can hear me. I hope the wind's not blowing. I think it's like right here. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know if you can hear me. I might have to refilm this if you can't. Wait until the car goes by. But anyway, I was able to finish up everything that I wanted to finish up. Um, I made the glitter ribbon trim. I made the other ribbon trim. I embroidered out that shirt and made the corset top and a hair bow. And I started like at 10. Hello. She's picking me flowers. Hello. Show me your new shirt you got, girl. Mm. She got that shirt last night at Ross's. I got another one. That's just cute. It's actually a real feather right there. That for real, real, that came off a bird? Yeah. <laughs> Look at your lips. Tell them what you got on your lips. Juice. <laughs> Something to bite you behind your ear? Where? Were you itching back there? Where? Right there, right where your finger is. Mm -hmm. Right here. It's a red box. It does. But anyway, so I finished that up. And our post office closes at 4, and I got done right at 4 o'clock. So we ended up going to the next town because their post office closes at 4.30. So while I was there, I just went to the grocery store and got stuff. <laughs> She's chewing on her booty. <laughs> I just got stuff to make hay. Something must be biting her. Might gotta get it. We might gotta get her a flea treatment. She did this. She did. Ah. So she did angry. Oh, she's got hair in her mouth. But anyway, uh, we're gonna make hamburgers for dinner, and then I plan on embroidering out one, and then making the other room trim either tonight or tomorrow. And then I gotta make a corset top for Curious George. There's some other shirts as well. My embroidery machine's still on my kitchen table though. You need to make birds because you need like a yellow flower. Help. You need I gotta go start cooking pretty soon. Then you need this. Let's go see if there's bird nesting in the grill. Okay. I feel like it. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> See anything? No. That scared me. <laughs> no. What? Usually there's a bird nest in there. And birds. And birds. We need our grass cut. What? Which one should the mom wear? Which outfit should the mom wear? Which bathing suit? Oh, okay. Are you showing off her big... <laughs> which, which bathing suit should she wear? Polka dots. Uh, these ones? She's that dude off the of, um Oh yeah, yeah. Towards the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. I know that there is doing? nothing to find <laughs> Your beautiful sight in the summer night And you keep
can't put up a fight in the mist light. Good morning, guys. Well, actually, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. I figured I'd just show this real quickly. Hi. Um, I really haven't vlogged anything in the past couple days just because I really haven't done anything. If you want to see me laying on the couch, um, watching movies, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I just thought I'd show this. This is something I saw on JT who put up their Facebook page. It was probably, I don't know, several months ago they posted it. But she took her hoop and put it in hot water with a little dish soap. She used Dawn. We don't have any Dawn right now. We just have Gain. And I think it works pretty good. But you just let it soak. I let this soak probably for like 10 minutes, but really you don't need to let it soak that long. And the water got cold, so I just put more hot water in here real quick. But I just want to show you, like it's pretty nasty. I don't know if you guys can see it. But if you have a rag, let me see if I can put this down right here. And you just kind of rub it, it just comes right off. Some places are easier to get to, like this little edge is hard to, but it will just pull right off there. All those threads. Yeah, so cool. And then if it starts to get kind of hard and tacky again, you just stick it in the hot water for a little bit. I think the real key is the hot water. I don't know if the soap actually does anything, but it's just a super simple, easy way to clean them. It only takes a few minutes. You can just take a rag and wipe it, rub it, or peel it off with your finger. But I just thought I'd share that since I was cleaning it. But I'm getting ready to go downstairs and make a ribbon trim. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to come up and package it up. And then we'll probably take it to the post office. But yeah, I haven't been vlogging hardly anything because there really isn't anything to vlog. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean this. I'll show it when it's done. Oop. Oop. Okay guys, so here is my hoop. Let's see if we can... So it pretty much all came off. There's still some, if you can see, like right there and I'm sure if I had tweezers or something I could probably see it'll just pick right out but I ain't worried about it and there was more over here yeah I'm not worried about it but yeah it came clean and it came clean so that is how you clean your hoop and it probably only took me I don't know well, I let it soak. If you count the soaking time, you know. But, if you know, I just threw it in there and forgot about it, really. <laughs> um, but probably less than five minutes to pick it all off. It's easier if you have a rag. And something you can just bear down and rub it. And it rolls right off. Anyway, I have to go make that ribbon trim now. <laughs> what were you doing? Nothing. What were you doing? Nothing. Nothing. You're doing a pork chop dance? No, no, no. <laughs> mm hmm. So we're gonna have <laughs> some pork chops for dinner. And she likes them in these McCormick bags. And she only likes thin cut pork chops. So I'll try to talk her into thick ones today. And she yeah. said, she said, down, down, do you pound? I don't want me to eat pork chops because then it'll just be like a bunch of cows or. What is a pork chop made out of? Pig. Sorry, piggy. 
You can't hear that. And there, not delicious, but kind of. <laughs> anyway, they're beautiful. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and pork chops. But the seasoning just comes like this. And you get a bag that you put them in. And you just roll them in the seasoning and stick them in the bag. And then you put like a quarter. Is it a quarter cup of water? Yeah, a quarter cup of water. I usually just eyeball it, so. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I can't push this buggy. We're at Walmart, picking up a few groceries. Apparently she's swinging by the Barbie aisle. Ooh, ooh, Barbie. You tell them. My tooth came out. Your tooth came out. You need to brush them. Brush them, brush them, brush them. Oh look, they got little trolls. I'm coming. Hi. Hi. Hello. What's going on? The tooth fairy is going to come. Is my tooth? Yes. Boo? Is the tooth fairy gonna come? What if Boo attacks her? <laughs> I don't know. That would be bad. This thing is. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting on the ball watching TV, and I was like wiggling it. And then it went, it went pew. <laughs> no, it just fell out. And then I didn't know where it was and I ran. And I said, Mom, Mom, my tooth came out. And then, and then we washed my tooth or whatever. Or like made the blood go away. And then, um. Then we cut on the tooth and then you stepped on it and <laughs> yeah, and it has old tooth inside of it. So now how many wiggly tooth do you have? Teeth? Two? Two toothesses. Two toothesses? <laughs> two, two, two wiggly teeth? <laughs> Why does she like that thing so much? Give me that. <laughs> You're chewing on my hand. My hand. All right. Well, I love you. Good night. Love you. Mm -hmm. Good night. Let's sleep tight. <laughs> Good luck with the tooth fairy. Wish for this moment tonight.